At this time, I'd like to talk to you about the basics of fly fishing equipment. There's a variety on the market and a lot of different things to choose from. You got your basic fly rod and reel setup that you can go in and buy the beginner kit. You're going to get yourself something that's fairly stiff as a fly rod, probably an eight and a half or nine foot fly rod. You're going to get a, a reel that's going to hold the line and you're going to get your basic weight forward fly line. Many of my clients have started off with this. It's just fine. You can still learn how to do all the casting and all the mending and all the knots and everything you need with this equipment. As you advance and you become a better caster and a better angler, you will become more selective in the type of equipment that you like to use. Myself personally, I like to fish trout rods that are much shorter. I like the light to medium action fly rods, so anything from 8 foot to 8 foot 6 for me is preferable. If I do get into streamer fishing like we did a demo not too long ago, uh, I like to use a little bit heavier rod because I'm using a little bit heavier sinking line. But generally, the fly rods are similar. The graphites and the materials they're using these days uh, make these fly rods real, really a pleasure. They're lightweight. They got beautiful real seats on them. But as time goes on, you'll learn whether you need a nine foot rod that has, a, as we call them in the fly fishing business, a uh, parking lot rod. And that's a rod that you can take outside the fly shop, cast it 85 feet with no problem. The new, the new fly angler goes, I'm impressed, I'll take it. But in the long run, and as the future comes by, he won't probably use that rod anymore. He's not going to use that rod only in certain situations. Most of the rivers aren't that big. Most of the rivers, especially for trout, don't require that kind of casting distance. So you're much better in the 50 to 25 foot range, controlled cast, nice soft rod, can play the fish well can cast your fly and leader accurately. That's very important, that accuracy in your equipment works right along with your casting style. Anytime you cast a fly, you should have a target in mind to cast at. Just as if you're casting at a trout that's rising, you gotta be able to put the fly right where you want it. If you got the right tool for the job, and in my life, this is the right tool for my job, I can accurately put my fly where I need it. That's the tool that you're going to end up using. Whether you got 10 fly rods, you're going to go back to your favorite.